Hey guys, this is a kind of a part two to our previous conversation, but uh, it is this is going to cover uh, Vivek Ramaswamy's uh, something on Fox News. I just kind of wanted to hear him talk and get you know Jerry's thought on it. I want to cover more of Vivek over time because I think that he is an incredibly important figure out of everybody that's running in the uh, in the election. Actually, there's two people that run in the election in the ele- th- three people that run in the election to me that have the most cultural and political impact. Obviously, Trump, Vivek, and RFK Jr. I think that those are the most important standouts right now as far as political candidates for essentially t- shrinking the size of the government, attacking very toxic. Uh, entities. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. The USA is a mess. Our economy is crashing. Inflation is out of control. China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea have formed together as a menacing and destructive coalition like we've never seen before. Our currency is crashing and will no longer, in my opinion, be the world standard if it keeps going like this which will be the single greatest defeat of our country in 200 years. We lose the power of the dollar. And that was former President Trump on the campaign trail this weekend amidst new data showing inflation ticked higher in the month of July. And Americans are still feeling the squeeze of Bidenomics. The Labor Department reporting that inflation rose in the month of July from June as higher gasoline and oil prices sent consumer prices up to 3.2 percent above the Federal Reserve's target of 2%. President Biden's handling of the economy is expected to be a topic at the first Republican presidential debate on August 23rd, uh, which will be here live right here on Fox News. I hope you'll join us. Going into the debate, President Trump remains far and away the leader in the GOP field, outpacing his nearest competitor, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, by 33%. Look at that number. Donald Trump is at 59% right now. Ron DeSantis is at 16%. Vivek Ramaswamy coming in three, the third place at 8%. Joining me right now is 2024 Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy, who is at 8% of the vote. Vivek, uh, thanks very much for being here this morning. Can you talk to us about your plan for America? What is your platform? My core platform is get in there and shut down the administrative deep state, the three-letter agencies, the regulatory state that is a threat to our constitutional republic. From the FBI to the IRS to the ATF to the U.S. Department of Education, I don't think we can just incrementally reform those agencies, Maria. I think we have to get in there and shut them down. And that is our ticket to not only restoring the integrity of our government, but also to stimulating the economy. Because those three-letter agencies are actually the source of the unconstitutional federal regulations that act like a wet blanket on businesses both large and small in our economy. And so that's why a centerpiece of my agenda is delivering GDP growth, economic growth. And Maria, it is my conviction that young people, all people, are more proud of a country, more united behind that country, when we are all making more money in that country. And so these things go hand in glove together to be able to both restore the integrity of our constitutional republic by getting rid of that fourth branch, while yeah. also stimulating the economy in the process. Well, that all sounds very good, Vivek, especially in the face of all of these allegations of corruption and cover-up at the DOJ and the FBI. So it leads me to the next question of, did you just say the other day that you want to pardon Hunter Biden? We have evidence, bank records of potential bribery. Ted Cruz just said, if this is true, Biden should go to jail. Are you talking about pardoning the Biden family? Maria, that was misquoted in purposeful opposition research with the headline, you know how this game is played. Mm. I've actually been very clear. I've been the only presidential candidate who has been this clear that the first thing we need to do is clean house, shut down the FBI, refurbish the DOJ. I'm the only candidate to actually pledge to pardon Trump for all of these political persecutions through prosecutions, even peaceful January 6th protesters on down. I'm also happy to go on record. I heard you talking about it before. I'm on record going in favor of an impeachment inquiry on Biden, because I personally believe the Ukraine war is indeed a repayment for a bribe made, now sending $200 billion of taxpayer money in the other direction. But what I've said is let me fast forward to January 21st, 2025, 
my second day in office, after we've issued those pardons, after we've set into motion shutting down the FBI, not just reforming it, actually restoring the integrity of our government. The question is, is the next thing that I then want to do after we've set our nation forward, is it to then focus my agenda on persecuting or, or prosecuting Joe Biden or his family? My answer to that question is no. I'm going to be focused on stimulating the economy, ending the war in Ukraine, declaring independence from China. That is how we win as one nation. And so, no, I'm not going to be guided by vengeance and grievance. I'm going to be guided by integrity. But the first step to getting there is there can be no reconciliation without truth. We have to get to the bottom of including that bribe, I believe, paid to the Biden family, how that's tied to our war in Ukraine and our support of that war in Ukraine. Get to the bottom of that first. And I stand on the side of leading us forward to a national revival, but we can't get there without first being told the truth. That's where I'm well, at, Maria. Well, you are a businessman, and you understand business and yeah. this inflation problem that we have. I've got that. You just went through shutting down corruption. I've got that. What about national security, Vivek? We are all worried about communist yes. China. And Joe Biden's weak response to all of this provocation. What's your answer? So, look, my view is we need a modern Monroe Doctrine in this country. The dirty little secret, Maria, is that much of our military defense spending in the last several decades has not actually gone to national defense. The reality is if we do enter a serious conflict, and I worry that Joe Biden is sleepwalking us into potential nuclear conflict with Russia and Russia and China being in a military alliance with one another, that would mean both nations. The reality is we need defense capabilities of the homeland nuclear defense capabilities, cyber defense capabilities, super EMP, electromagnetic pulse capabilities that could take out our electric grid. Uh -huh. We are way behind. And so Did the they... hallmark of my foreign policy yep. is going to be, you don't mess with the homeland, start with that first. Well, it's nice to hear some toughness, uh, that's for sure. Vivek, yeah. you are at 8%. You've got the debate coming up. Uh, if you do not get higher numbers, or would you be prepared to work with perhaps President Trump? Have you spoken to President Trump about being a part of his cabinet? I have not spoken to him about being part of his cabinet, and I haven't spoken to him about him being part of mine. But the reality is, I, somebody said I started at 0% in March. I corrected them. I started at 0.0% .0 in March, <laughs> and now I'm running a third in the Republican national primary it's ahead amazing. of the first debate on the same trajectory that Trump was in 2015. So, wow. Maria, I expect to be the nominee. I expect to win this election in a landslide. But here's what I do want. I fully expect, I respect President Trump. I don't bash him because I think he was an excellent president. And yep. we have a good relationship of mutual respect. I expect him to be an advisor, even a sort of mentor when I'm in the White House, teaching me where the bodies are buried, how to go further than he okay. went. That's my mission with our America First agenda, and that's the relationship I expect. All of that. What do you think? Interesting. I like him, uh, uh, and I, 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 I'm gathering because of what Maria's uh, question on prosecuting Hunter Biden is mm -hmm. that uh, you let the, the law enforcement agencies take care of that. He's not going to focus himself on that, and uh, which is actually really what it should be, is right. uh, if you have lawful law enforcement agencies. I like Vivek. And uh, I like that uh, out of all the candidates, for the most part, he's like the only one who knows that we're a constitutional republic. Right. You know, he, or, it, or does it call it a democracy? The, the minute I hear democracy come out of somebody's mouth, I'm correcting them. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, I'll tell you when uh, I remember, uh, I'll give you a little an antidote when I was in, uh, in uh, uh, Devon's with uh, uh, Anthony Weiner when he got he got prosecuted. Is uh, is that uh, well, Wiener was uh, walking by, and him and I actually got along fairly well. And uh, and I was I was somebody was watching TV in one of the TV rooms. It was and it was a political thing. And I, I'm correcting the guy. Well, that's not right. But I'm just going to glass right. And Wiener goes, Jerry, they can't hear you. And you know that, right? And I said, No wonder you voted so crappy because I instructed, I gave you better instruction every time I heard you speak. But uh, it, uh, uh, I like Bavak. I think he's a lawful guy. I think he's a constitutional guy. He's self-made billionaire, if I remember right. I mean, he's got a lot of money, and uh, uh, and he's and he's uh, he's really well spoken. Yeah. Uh, I'm not quite sure how you completely get rid of the FBI, and not that I'm against that, 
is uh, but uh, there are some threats out there that need to be monitored by somebody. I'm not sure who they get to monitor well, it. So I've obviously been I've listened to a lot of Vivek, and what he has said is that the FBI, so the the agents that are like your field agents, the ones that actually go out and do the work you're talking about, yeah. move them over to the marshal service. Ah, make the marshals cover those kinds of threats but the bureaucratic component of yeah. the fbi that's why you have to get rid of the fbi well so the federal it's, marshals used to in the old days handle all the national stuff right right yeah, that's the way u.s marshals they went from state to state town to town wherever they you know they had that authority to be able to go right and in the in the fbi is just now, now it's so political it's so bureaucratic top heavy that it you, the way he he said is that there is a there is a constitutional component in one of the high the bigger number amendments that gives the president the executive um, the executive authority to see I get, I think the way it works is that Congress funds the FBI right they fund but everything the, right but the president has the ability to lay them all off. That's right, because they're under the executive branch, all of them. Correct. All the so, and, are. and that's how he plans on doing it. So instead of going through Congress, which means that it'll never get done, right? Because you're always going right. to have Democrats that are going to go against the Republicans just because. And then or vice versa. Or Republicans. But yeah, what I he's going to do is he's we'll just going to wholesale problem. lay them all off. Yeah. And then what that'll do is that'll mean that the Congress will have no choice but to just cease funding of an entity that no longer takes in money. Except those that shift over to the Marshall Service, they'll just shift the funding well, over. Yeah, to they'll the just shift money over to the Marshall Service in that case. Uh, but in I the case of the uh, in the case of the IRS, yeah. just remove them. And then what he could do is literally just do an automated flat tax. Well, remember when Trump was running in sixteen? Is uh, he came up and he was going to simplify the taxes? Remember that mm -hmm. he said he was going to do it, and of course it never happened. Never happened. Uh, and uh, and and I can imagine there's a lot of justification for that not happening while he was in the White House. It's not like he wasn't always constantly putting out fires right. and uh, and being undermined. He he might have pushed pushed something, and then his uh, advisors, the Republican advisors, just killed it, or the or the Congress. But right. uh, uh, I, I I'm with them on that. Is uh, uh, is, our government sets traps for us to break the law so that they can selectively persecute their enemies. That, I mean, that's that's not new. That's, right. That's it's been around. Business. Been around forever. I think, I think Vivek's onto it. So yeah, yeah. I like him. Yeah, a I lot. Mean, like like I said, uh, if Trump if Trump's in, I I will vote. If Trump's the selected person, I'd vote for Trump. If uh, if Vivek in the primaries though, I'm I'm Camp Vivek and. If if some fucking random d Republican d does it and RFK somehow became the selected person, I might actually swing blue. I think yeah. RF I think RFK is a good dude. I think that I'm he not is. So sure, RFK is blue. I know, right? I, like, yeah, like, I mean, uh, they've got us convinced that you know because they're uh, on one side or the other that they're the evil, and uh, but there's evil on both sides, and. Oh, yeah. and and uh, there's some there's some pretty good people on both sides. Not not many though. I mean, it's you know, a, well, there's that point. one dude that on Tucker's uh, town hall. Yeah. Um, oh my uh, god. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even believe. Like there's that one. He's he's kind of like a ball, like a real bald with like some hair on the sides. Hey, um, watch it. I wasn't on that. Okay, I'll have to. I'll have to pull that oh, video not, up. Not, uh, 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 it's not Angus. It's. Uh, Oh, I think I, I, I think. yeah, I'll pull, I, I'll pull it up in another video yeah. because right. it's, it's hilarious. The dude literally like Tucker just probably ended his campaign in one he question. Did Pence. Oh, and he did Pence too. Oh my God. Oh, that was so embarrassing. I got invited to a thing just recently with Pence was speaking and it's on national security and such. It's funny. I get invited to these things, right? These talks, small, small groups. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't go. 
I just I just don't like Pence. I don't think he's got the. I I think he's an establishment uh, Dude, hack. It, if we had the money, that would be awesome for like you and I to go. I'll bring a camera and we just ambush the shit out of them. Well, we could, and we make we YouTube videos on it. Well, you could do, definitely do that. Uh, what, I got to fly you up here. I, 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 I fight it all the time. I just miss Pence. I, I'd have to know when and where, and honestly, I could probably drive it because. I mean, it's not that far, I don't think. It's like eight yeah. hours. Well, New Hampshire, you know. The oh, most God. Of if it's up there, the yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> it's not further than Bunkerville, Nevada, from my house, buddy. <laughs> that was 2,700 miles. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't drive like that. That's yeah. not, I'd have to fly in that case. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so if you guys like this, and yeah. let us know in the comments what you guys think of Vivek. Um, I know that he's had some weird things happen to him. You know, like, where, like, the, get this, the World Economic Forum still, to this day, has put him in as a guest speaker as, uh, like, the young uh, entrepreneurial billionaire, you know, class, yada, yada, yada. It is a it's a con. He's had him. He's had the the World Economic Forum suing. He sued the World Economic Forum multiple times. They still refuse to remove his name as one of the guest speakers because it is a perfect political attack. In order, like they know that Republicans will see, oh, he's on the World Economic Forum. Oh my God, he's with Klaus Schwab. Yeah. It, Oh my god, it, it's so it's so stupid. But yeah, if you guys see anything down, uh, comment down below. Let us know what you think of them, and uh, see you guys on the next one. Hey, I'd like to hear what they think about RFK as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We do some I mean, if anybody's been following him, and uh, uh, you know, you should definitely let us know, and uh, and we can do a piece on him as well. Absolutely. All right. Uh, see you guys on the next one. Super five. <laughs>